how to bench test any electrical accessory before you put it on your vehicle. Catch you inside. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. So this video, I'm really talking about very basic tests here to test any electrical accessory before you start putting it on your vehicle. So let's say you buy a set of headlights or uh, auxiliary lights, whatever, a radio, whatever it is. First of all, what you need to do is get yourself a 12 volt supply or an old car battery and make sure it's fully charged. To test if it actually works, uh, your electrical accessory, all you need to do, and I've got a, a 12 volt test light here, so just assume this is my electrical accessory, whatever it is. Uh, you just mount the uh, positive, positive, negative, negative, and you see if it lights up or if it functions. So that's what we'll do here. And there you go, you can see it's lighting up. So I know this electrical accessory, whatever it is, works. It works with a 12 volt supply. The next thing you want to do is actually test what the current draw on it is. Now this could be really important if you're putting high powered electrical accessories on your vehicle, uh, let's say spotlights for example, uh, and also you've got lots of other electrical accessories on your vehicle as well. Now this might mean that whatever you're putting on might overload the system and it might cause electrical problems for you. It might cause uh, the battery to run flat because your alternator on your vehicle is not powerful enough to charge the battery and also supply all the electrical power. So that might mean that you have to reduce the amount of electrical accessories or you might have to uh, increase the uh, output voltage on the alternator and that means an alternator change. Okay, so for this test, you'll need a, a basic multimeter. And what you'll need to do uh, is keep the uh, the com, the negative on the com part, and you'll take the uh, positive uh, terminal, as it were, positive probe, and you'll put that in the uh, 10 ADC or whatever the direct current uh, port on yours is. Now, some really cheap uh, multimeters might go down to 5 amps or something, but a 10 amp multimeter for uh, general use is good. Now, if you're really getting into high high powered systems, then you probably want a, a, a much bigger capacity on your multimeter or, or even get a clamp meter. And I'm gonna cover that in another video as well. But anyway, so for this test, it's absolutely fine. So what you do, you keep the COM as in negative uh, probe there and you put the positive probe on the DC amps and just leave it switched off for now. Okay, to test the current draw from your electrical accessory, uh, what you need to do is actually wire this in series. In other words, you need to mount the, the multimeter in between the battery and uh, your electrical accessory and then feed it back to the uh, battery. Okay, so this is what you do. You connect your positive probe from your multimeter to uh, a clamp, let's say, and you connect that to your battery, like so. Make sure it's got a good connection. Okay, so that's connected there. You take your electrical accessory positive wire and you connect it to the COM negative lead probe of your multimeter. Let's do that. So now that is basically connected. Then you take your negative supply uh, from your electrical accessory, like so, and you put it in a crocodile clamp here. And this is connected to a wire with, guess what, another crocodile clip on the other end. And what you need to do is just pop this on here. Now, because you've got everything connected, you've got a, a live circuit. You just turn your uh, setting to the highest setting, in this case it's a 10 amps, and you'll see that it's 0 0.01, it's fluctuating between 0 0.01 and 0 0.02. Now what that means is that on this electrical accessory, this lamp that I've got here, there is 0 0.01 amp draw on it, or 0 0.02 uh, draw on it on it. That's what it is. This is a little LED light, so that's why it's hardly any power at all. Now, if you've got a high-powered electrical accessory, that amperage draw will be quite substantial. Now, this will help you determine whether you're going to overload your vehicle electrical system before you even put it on your uh, vehicle. Now, every vehicle has a maximum and minimum load. It really depends on your vehicle. But if you research your vehicle, you'll know what is the maximum load and what is the maximum draw on your uh, 
uh, on your battery, uh, on your electrical system. So then you'll know whether you're going to be exceeding that or not. Now, of course, you can still put multiple electrical accessories on your vehicle. And if you had them all on at the same time, you could overload the system. You could uh, drain the battery too much. However, you just need to be aware not to have them on all at the same time. And then you could just put them on in turn and then that would be able to save your battery. Now, if you want to test the complete draw, the total uh, current draw uh, on your battery from all your electrical systems and uh, accessories, that would be another test. But this is just an individual test before you start cutting into uh, your vehicle and trying to mount this and trying to hack into an electrical uh, loom or, or wiring or trying to wire it up to the ignition or whatever it is, you can actually test one if it's working and also uh, what the uh, current amperage draw is uh, from that electrical accessory and that will help you determine whether you actually want to put it on your vehicle or not. Right, anyway, hope you found that useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Check out the website, revelatorelf.com and I'll catch you again. Bye now.